Hello and welcome back to my workshop. I'm Jeremiah and today I'm going to be building out this beautiful baby. It's a CNC lathe, people. Several months ago, I started exploring the idea of getting a CNC machine for my home shop. Just to sort of help me learn the process, you can learn a lot at school and I'm excited to continue learning at trade school but I'm also very hands-on and I love to just dive into things, sinking my teeth into a new machine, a new process. So I started exploring kind of what could I afford? <laughs> and uh, I noticed a lot of my favorite YouTubers were using Tormach machines. And uh, you know, when you look at the price, it definitely was way more affordable. I don't need a big, massive production lathe right now. This one will do just fine to help me learn, to help me prototype, to help me develop maybe small runs of a product that I may want to sell. So follow along as I begin my journey into CNC machining. Here we go. We got a delivery coming today. Super excited. Delivery man just dropped this guy. Unfortunately, the garage is down that hill. Hmm. Not sure what to do. <laughs> the delivery came with three pallets. One, the big thing. The other was two smaller pallets. Those are easy to roll down the hill. Is it okay? So far. Easy-ish. <laughs> the big one, I'm having to think on that. I was hoping the delivery truck driver would bring a box truck and not like a big old 18 wheeler because they could get down this driveway if they were in a box truck. While I figure out how to get my hands on a box truck, I start the process of unpacking and sorting the massive amounts of parts and accessories that came with my lathe. This one is crazy heavy. So the shipping company uh, put the wrong uh, pallet under it, so I can't easily get a pallet jack under pallet. I bought this lift set that I can attach to the side, lift it off, pull the pallet under, and then I'll be able to put the uh, pallet jack under it and move it. Probably going to be putting it in this garage until I can secure a box truck. There's my first uh, glimpse of the uh, Slant Pro. It's beautiful. <laughs> After several days, I was able to secure a box truck and some additional hands to assist in the transportation down the hill to my workshop. Now what do you do? Oh. All right, somebody get up there. There were a few scary moments along the way. Okay, we got it loaded up on this box truck. Now it's gonna be going down this hill. I am terrified. I just wanna like close my eyes and wait till it's over. What was that? Uh, I heard a lot bang. Did it fall over? It did not fall over. Oh, that's good. Did it move? It doesn't look like it moved. It sounded like something sounded, happened. There's a bang. That's the pallet jack, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just pallet jack. This is Jason and John. They need their own YouTube channel. I keep telling them. We're gonna do it. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you guys. That wasn't hard at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Should 
She's in my shop. This is the general area where I'm gonna put her. I still need to put the enclosure on her and just kind of see how bulky she's gonna get before I place her down exactly where I want her. I still have a ways to go. I have a lot of stuff to add to this thing. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep plugging away at it little by little. Part of the fun is just kind of getting to put it together. It's kind of like uh, adult Legos. A little bit of an update. I have installed the arm that holds the touch screen. I still have a ways to go on this. The uh, automatic tool changer sits right here. You can see over here, I've got the engine hoist and I've lifted this guy up and uh, uh, now I have to move him over onto the machine. So. That's going to be a fun project for this afternoon. I'm a little nervous. I've never used an engine hoist before. It's also nerve wracking to, you know, I'm going to be lifting several hundred pounds, you know, on top of my brand new machine. So just don't want to drop anything. Part of me wishes it just, you know, comes unboxed and I could start, you know, making things, but it's okay. Expanding my experience and my know-how and abilities. I still have a lot of like accessories and things to do and add and the enclosure to add and everything, but I wanted to power it up just to kind of make sure it's on, it's working. And uh, so I have it going and uh, let's see, I can, I can jog it. So that's the Z. And then the X. I love it. <laughs> It's working. I will say the assembly is a bit more complicated than Legos. I ran into a few bumps in the road along the way, but overall the assembly went pretty smooth. a little bit of an issue with the pallet jack not lifting unless it had weight on it. So my dad stood in and helped out. So it's been several days since I got this beauty and I finally have her put together for the most part. Wanted to point out a few of the upgrades that I've got um, installed on this machine. I've got um, an air powered collet closer for the 5C collet. Another upgrade I got was a touchscreen monitor, which really helps just kind of speed things along without having to actually kind of do that. I still have a mouse that, you know, helps for some things, but uh, just having the ability to hit stop and start on the screen is really helpful. This piece here is the automatic tool changer or turret that lets you put multiple tools in and then it will rotate to the next tool in the process of making the part. Um, that took a lot to get in place and to get set up, but uh, I think I've got it working. It is rotating, it is changing tools, so that's a win. A couple of things left to do on the assembly is uh, install the panel here on the side and then a panel on the back. Right now I'm just making sure that it's working properly before I seal it up. So the first thing I wanted to try was just kind of manually facing off a part and uh, turns out it's working. The thing's doing, 
what it's supposed to do. Most CNC lathes have the ability to do the programming right here on, in the machine. It's called conversational. And so I can go through and pick different uh, processes uh, like a facing cut or a chamfer or a profile, different things like that, and just hit go and the machine will, will do the work. You obviously have to know the dimensions of everything that you want. So it's not just like, oh, here's a cool part, go. You, you still have to have the basics of machining. You then translate your machining knowledge into the computer and then you know, be able to tell it what you want. So now that I know the machine is working and all of the ancillary stuff is all coming together, it's all working properly, I'm gonna dive in and actually program my first part on the conversational tab and see if I can actually make something and uh, see how that goes. After entering everything in conversationally, just hitting all the buttons, it created um, this code, which is called G-code, and that's what actually controls the machine. And over here, there's a little bit of an outline of the part that I'm actually making. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm uh, really nervous to kind of run this, but you know, we'll see. No guts, no glory, right? <laughs> Cycle start. It's working! It's working! There it is. Now, when it parted off, it's got this little nub on there that's not supposed to be there, and I gotta figure out how to get rid of that. But for the first try, I am uh, amazed that, that a machine made this and just spit it out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop right there this week because it's been a busy week. Put this whole thing together, I've gotten it up and running on its feet, and I made a part. Now, some people may be wondering, why did I go with a lathe versus a mill? Well, I'm actually just more comfortable on a lathe. I've, I've spent more time on lathes. So for me, I felt like the barrier to entry in CNC would be less if I'm more comfortable with the processes of a lathe. Tormac has some really good mill options as well, and I'm reserving that corner over there for when I can save up and uh, purchase a mill to go along with this baby. But for right now, I feel like the lathe is just gonna make things translate easier in my brain, figuring out the processes, that kind of thing. For what I want and for my shop and for the space and for the limited power that I have, um, this machine is perfect. So there you have it. My Tormac 15L Slant Pro lathe. The possibilities are endless. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that stuff and just keep checking back because uh, I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this thing. I am so excited to keep learning and figuring out all the ins and outs of this machine and being able to create all sorts of cool things. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>